Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about the custom fonts in the project setting tools. All right, so what the custom fonts enables you to do is to view your entire fonts that you use in the project, in your Titan Web project, in one spot. So we'll head over to Tools, Custom Fonts, and right now I can see that my project is currently using four fonts. And the reason for this being here is that we do not load all the fonts for your entire project if you do not use them, and that saves on speed. Technically, you can go ahead over here and add a font. If for some reason Titan didn't, didn't pick up on your font, you can add it manually from here. But whenever you add a new font, and we will try and demonstrate this from here, I'll put in a new button and I will change this to... Let's do this guy over here. Let's do Felipa. All right. And let's change the thing to 70 so we can see it clearly. And we'll make this a little bigger. And now if I'll head back to the tools and custom fonts, I'll see Felipe and my system. See also the Sacramento was added and we can remove this. All right, let's hit apply and publish. And I'll launch the site. And we can see our button right here with the, the custom font. Now, what will happen if I'll go back over here, even though my button is using this font, and I'll remove it from the custom font. So let's remove Felipe and publish. And what will happen is that the browser will fall back to its default for that font. So if it does not find the font, which what will happen right now, it will fall back to the, um, to the default. So let's launch it and we'll compare the two. So I'll launch it. And we can see that it's not Felipe. It's completely different. And if we will take a look, so in my instance, it's Chrome. And if I'll take a look, we can see that the, the font family went to corrosive. Wonderful. And if I'll head back and either I'll edit this button or I'll go back to the custom fonts and put this back, everything will resume to use this font. And this is how it's done.